Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bart coming at you yet again with another episode of Obscure Mics. And today in the studio, I have the MXL V250. The V250, I got this for $45, brand new actually, on eBay. Pretty good deal. I think when this first came out, it was a couple hundred bucks. And uh, to get a brand new mic for $45 that could possibly sound pretty decent, can't beat that. So the MXL has an all-metal body, metal mesh grill with absolutely zero hardness to it. That's right, you heard me. It's nothing but give. Nothing but give, man. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Crush it. Crush it now. Crush it. Okay, so very soft grill, as MXL does. They just like some soft grills, man, like soft grill burritos. Uh, this this is a uh, decent amount of weight to the mic. It's nothing crazy, nothing incredible, but it is a pretty mic. It, it's a pretty mic for MXL. MXL makes a lot of mics that just look the same. This one, a little prettier than normal. I like it. So let's go ahead and run it through the gauntlet. It is a condenser microphone. It will take 48 volts phantom power to operate it. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right up on the MXL V250, this is what it sounds like. When you get right up on top of the MXL V250, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin her around. This is talking directly into the capsule. Turn it 90 degrees and this is what the microphone sounds like. 180 degrees and this is what the microphone sounds like and another 90 degrees and this is what the microphone sounds like and we're going to spin it all the way back around to the front of the microphone and this is what it sounds like okay so my first thoughts on this microphone are one of the better sounding mxl mics i've tried out in a while i actually think i like this one quite a bit please god tell me i don't have processing on God answered, I do not. Thank the sweet Lord in heaven above. That's why we're going to sing a little hymnal today. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. You're welcome, Jesus. Okay. I'm borderline blasphemous sometimes. I don't mean it in a bad way sense of humor big guy's got a sense of humor so do i so the mxl v250 i th i think this is a pretty good mic i think i am uh, somewhat happy with this mic here's the the pros of the mic is it does have a nice full low end the mids are okay they're present the the mids and bottom are very present the top is where it becomes uneven the top is very sizzly and crispy, and it is a little bit shrill all the way at to up top. Like sometimes certain words that I say gets a little bit annoying in the headphones. So overall, I think it's an okay mic. Let's see if we can fix any of those issues with a little bit of processing. Okay, so now we've got a compressor and a de-esser on the microphone, and this is what it sounds like. I'm not real sure. It definitely brings the clarity out. But there is still that little bit of shrillness and just a little annoying frequency all the way up top. That might be because of my voice. Maybe if I talked in a deeper voice, this thing would sound right up your alley. But I don't have a deeper voice. At least not most of the time. So it sounds like this. Um, yeah, let's throw a big bottom on it, see if we can even out some of the top. All right, so now we've got a big... There it is. There's still that little bit of something up top that just doesn't sound that great but with a big bottom on the microphone it sounds really good in in my ears but i do believe you would want to take a little bit of high-end sizzle off of this and, and get a nice smooth this is very eqable this can be a really good sounding mic with just a little bit of eq so let's go ahead and turn all processing back off all right so processing back off mxl v250 back at it you know, for a little bit of EQ to take a little bit of that top down just a little bit, I think it's a pretty good mic that you could get new for $45 if you get lucky like I did. So MXL V250, because of the price and because it is it is going to run you half a hundred, you can find it out there for half a hundred. 
I'll green light it for that. Use cases. Uh, I'm not big on condensers for podcasts. I just think that it's it picks up too much room noise. Now, if you've got a really good treated space or you've got a nice walk-in closet full of clothes, by all means, do, do a podcast on it. Uh, if you want to do some singing and you got a little bit of a deeper voice, I think it'll be great for that. Uh, voiceover, little EQ, deeper voice, great for that. High-end voice, not so much. I think it's a little too shrill for thinner voices like myself. Some people say I have deep voice. Some people say I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I got. So any loving is what I got. Loving is what I okay. MXL V two fifty. Uh, I green lighted it, especially if you've got that deep voice. It's gonna sound real good. Secure mics. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>